culture and its applications. So animal cell culture is a biotechnological technique where animal cells are grown artificially by providing them some favorable environment for their growth. So this can be cultivation of organ, tissue or a cell. Now normally when we talk about cultivating in vitro anything from animal, broadly it comes under three categories. So the first one is known as an organ culture. So as the name suggests, you can take an entire organ, put it in vitro into conditions which are favorable for its growth. culture coronavirus which has become very famous today but long before coronavirus was initially cultured using the tracheal ring, ring culture. Then you can have explant culture, this is another form where you can take fragments of the tissue instead of taking a whole organ and allow the blood to clot in it right? and then grow it in your petri dish with favorable conditions. Now the idea being that the blood clot itself is providing nutrition to that piece of tissue. Right? It is providing the culture media in that sense. Then you, we come down to actually cell culture. So when we say cell, we are now going from organ to tissue to separating the cells from each other such that they are grown independently in a suitable culture media. And again, based on the origin and the chromosomal properties, animal cell culture can be further divided into primary cell culture, secondary or diploid cell culture, or then we can come to immortal cells. And we will look at some more distinctions of these cells. Here I would also like to tell you what the difference between cell culture and cell line is. Okay? So cell line is actually a group of cells that are typically of homogeneous kind that have come from subculturing of primary or secondary culture which contain what we say has pure culture. Pure culture means ki ek cell may se jab uske clones generate hote hai. Genetically, chromosomally and by nature they are all a homogeneous group. When you have something like that which can be continuously propagated that is typically known as cell line okay, to distinguish it from cell culture. So before we go into cell culture, just let us spend a few minutes on how do you do cell culture. Right? So for this you need certain cell culture media because you are taking the cells out from an environment where it is naturally getting nutrition. You have to artificially provide everything for the growth of that cell in an artificial setting. Okay? So all the physical characters, factors will have to be met which will include nutrition, pH, temperature, osmotic balance, etc, etc. So first let us look at cell culture media. So this is the artificial media that is being provided to the cells and the point is that we will try to mimic, if we want any cell to grow, you will have to mimic the growth conditions it has under natural conditions. Okay? So people have studied that and typically this is a combination of nutrients. So if one wants to look at this topic even more detail then we would have actually talked about carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus magnesium, calcium, micronutrients, right? Then we talk about growth factors, hormones, vitamins, okay? Which are required for the growth of the cell. Now depending upon where you are taking the cell from, these requirements can be different, okay? So maybe a liver cell may require slightly different growth conditions, different hormones, different nutrients compared to a skin cell. So those differences have to be taken into consideration when you are growing a particular type of cell culture or cell. But we can generalize to a large extent. We say, hum sab jo bhi khana khate hai, we can generalize ye ye cheeze to chahiye hi. Uske alawa agar koi cell culture fastidious hai. Fastidious means fussy. So there are always those cultures which under artificial conditions are difficult to grow and then you need to figure out what are the specific nutrient requirements for that particular cell. Right? Now cell culture itself, when it came around, so if you go back to history of cell culture, this started only after the 1930s and became popular in a big way when the cell culture media became commercially available. 
to a large extent. So, these components standardized way or commercially available way. Uske alawa, the second most thing which really helped people to develop cell culture laboratories was the discovery of antibiotics and antifungal. Because this growth media we are giving or people have found it, it was a very big problem that it was very fast to microbial contamination. So, if you have explanted the organ, tissue or cells, so in a very short time, one would see bacterial contamination or fungal contamination in the media and it, it's like khana khara ho gaya. You know, it was spoiled. You couldn't really use that material anymore for doing any kind of studies. So when antibiotics became commercially available, okay, so this actually happened only after World War One. So streptomycin, different type of antimycotics became available commercially after that time. And that is when cell culture actually picked up in a big way. Now another thing that helped in cell culture was the availability of disposable tissue or plastic there. So the, the, you know, a lot of people used to use glassware before. And you will see that for cell culture, because there is an issue of microbial contamination, sterilization is a very important thing in maintaining a cell culture facility. But the microorganisms are not going to be able to maintain sterilization is very important. Because you have to maintain one bacteria. Karna hai. You don't want mixed culture. But here in animal, you don't want any microorganisms to grow. So the type of facility you have to generate is very exclusive and you it is very stringent. Okay. So to log hum dekhenge aage ki slides mein bhi glassware use karte the, jisko ki sterilize kiya jata tha. Lekin uske baavujud aap sterilize kar rahe ho, fir bahar nikal rahe ho, autoclave mein se rakha hua hai. Kitne din rakha hai, kaha rakha hai, usse fir contamination aane ke chances ho. To jab commercially mass sterilized plastic were available hua, which was disposable, one use. Okay. So the use of one use, so you can see there this this is a typical tissue culture flask and this is made of plastic. Similarly, tissue cultures which were like showed you an Eliza plate yesterday, but you can have six well plates, twelve well plates, twenty-four wells. So ninety-six is again they're a little bigger. And this is all sterile. It comes to you sterile. And when you're using it, you open it under sterile conditions and use it. So there's no question that I have sterilized it, then I was exposed in the air, then I was going to use it in a chamber, then I was going to use it. No. I open it under sterile conditions, use it, throw it away. No reuse business. That really helped the cause for animal cell culture. So if you take a little look at what are the infrastructure requirements for cell culture. The first requirement in terms of laboratory facility is that you need a sterile area. So typically, uh, if you think about, if you want to establish a cell culture facility, then typically the facility should not be open to immediately to air. Okay, so you will find a cell culture facility. If it's in a room, then there will be another door, then there will be another door, and then you know it will be somewhere inside. You may find that even walking into this culture facility, there will be all the measures that you may have seen for corona or any quarantine in a hospital. Okay, so you may. Depending upon what type of culture you may even want to change uh, into some clothes or your shoes, you will wear a shoe cover, wear a hair cover. Okay? In some places, if their cell cultures are very, very picky and stringent, they may have a corridor which is, you know, which has got UV light and all something before you enter. So it again depends on what culture you are handling. If you are handling a very robust culture, just so normally kuch nahi hota, or aise bhi kuch cultures hote hai, it's fine. But if you are working, your research is on certain cultures and you need to develop a facility to handle those type of cultures. Okay? And sterilization, cleanliness is one of the most important factors that is needed for a cell culture facility. Now typically to work with the cell culture, this aseptic area requires a laminar flow chamber or even better a biosafety cabinet. So uh, a laminar flow cabinet, have you all worked? in a laminar, so you know what it is. So it's a specialized chamber which has got a flow of air which passes through the HEPA filter. Right? And you can have many types of laminars. Even better if you have a biosafety, it's even better. Okay, so there are gradations. The best one would be in which the air is neither coming on you 
So the air that is coming is also being sucked back out. Okay. So the point I really want you to remember is that in a laminar of ICT, the air is filtered with a high efficiency particulate filter that is known as a HEPA filter. This chamber has a UV light which you will turn on before you start working into the chamber. And even before you turn on the light, so if you want to work in a laminar, let me remind you, you go in, you first clean the laminar with a disinfectant, with a spirit or something, right? Then you turn on the UV, you leave it on for about 20 minutes, then you turn off the UV. You never work with the UV light on because it will damage your eyes. You always be very careful about that. Then you yourself make sure you sterilize at least your hands or whatever part of your body you are going to put into the chamber. And then you uh, turn on whatever other measures you want. If there is a Bunsen burner or anything else that you want to use, you keep that. Make sure whatever you need to use to do your experiments is already inside. So if you have disposable pipettes, you need to planning your disposable pipettes. If you need to use tissue culture flask, you need to use it ready. So on and so forth. So avoid trying to move your hand in and out when you have started working. So plan your experiment so that once you put your hands in, you finish the work, you close the plates and only then you remove them. Okay. Uh, right, so I was talking about this. So make sure that you clean everything. As I told you, many of these, uh, all your, when you are working with cell culture, Everything needs to be sterilized. All your glassware needs to be sterilized. All your buffer, all your reagent, all your bottles need to be sterilized. Okay, nothing will go into the chamber which has not been sterilized. Okay. Now, apart from that, some of the other equipment that is required is an autoclave. So, you should always have an autoclave with the cell culture. It may not be inside the cell culture, but you need to have it as part of the system. Now, another important thing that you need is a CO2 incubator. Okay. So CO2 incubator is nothing but a specialized incubator in which you regulate the amount of carbon dioxide that is going in. And I'll talk about this in a minute. These are some of the other things. These are standard uh, equipment, tweezer for maintaining any uh, parts of your cell, balance, burner. Another important thing that you probably need is an inverted microscope. So. Have you, any of you used inverted microscope? So, you know, if you wish, you can come and check it out. We have inverted microscope. Uh, I have one in my lab. We have one in the central instrumentation facility also. So, you know what an upright microscope is, right? So, if you remember, the objective lens is on top. So, your slide is here, the objective is here. Inverted microscope, the objective lens is on top. So, where you keep sample, there is sufficient space for you to keep a flask, a tissue culture flask. Okay? So you can easily keep, I wanted to put some pictures, but I'm sorry, I didn't get time. So you can actually put this flask on top of the, 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 the sample holder and the objective is at the bottom. So you can actually see the cells without taking a sample out of the tissue culture flask. If you have microbiology or you have a microscope, then you can take a sample on the slide, or you can make a dry smear, and you don't have space between the slide and object. This gets circumvented in an inverted microscope. So when you are doing any tissue culture, you don't have to observe the sample and observe the sample. You can take the flask or petri dish, or you can take the microtitle plate, wherever you are growing, and take the microscope. कि नीचे देख सकते हैं, उसकी ग्रोथ कितनी हुई मेजर कर सकते हैं, और वापस उसको अटैक करना लगा सकते हैं, ठीक है? So जिस चेंबर में आपका लैमिनार है, जिस चेंबर में आपका इंक्यूबेटर है, वहीं बगल में यूजुअली इन्वर्टेड माइक्रोस्कोप भी रखा हुआ होता है। इसके अलावा जो एक इम्पोर्टेंट चीज है, वो है to store the cells, you should either have a minus 80 degree centigrade deep freezer or you should have this liquid nitrogen storage flask. Which means, अगर आप ये facility develop कर रहे हैं, you should have a source of liquid nitrogen. So if we were to develop this facility here, for example, IIT Kanpur has a liquid nitrogen facility. So we are fortunate that if we wish, we can and they will offer it to us. We can buy it from there. We can always go and buy 
and what is this liquid nitrogen required for? It is basically required for long term preservation of the cell culture. Okay, so if you have to long time the cell culture to preserve it, there are different techniques. In that, you can put it in the freezer in minus 80 degrees. But with cell, cell culture, a more popular technique is to use liquid nitrogen. Okay, so you should have a liquid nitrogen facility. Of course, these are standard stuff that are present in any laboratory. So let us look at the culture media. Right? So uh, these are some of the things that are typically part of any basic cell culture media. So pella hai, it needs a carbon source. So carbon source can be any sugar. Now typically it is glucose. But again, like I told you, just say any media ke composition alag -alag ho sakte hai, depending. Some can have maltose in it, some can have some other sugars. But the most popular is glucose because it is the simplest carbon for the cell to utilize. Apart from that, you'll have a mixed amino acid solution in that. There'll be vitamins which are part of it. Now all this is added to a balanced salt solution. So this is an isotonic solution. It can be phosphate buffer, it can be carbonate buffer. So if you want to make culture media, you can buy this balanced salt. This is a different name. It's Ringer salt. It's a different name from a defined composition of balanced salt. Okay? So media is two ways. One is defined and one is complex. Complex means that you don't know the components. It is nutritive. But I don't know, I can't tell you how much percent carbon is, how much percent nitrogen is. And then you can have defined salts. So you can purchase that and you can make your own media if you wish, depending upon your culture. But typically people buy ready-made culture media because again there are too many issues of sterilization and keeping it sterilized. Most uh, culture media will contain a dye, a pH indicator and this is typically phenol red. So the phenol indicator dye it is, is changed, its color changes from red, so it is this color at pH 7.4. 7 means thoda sa halka reddish orange ho jayega aur finally agar acidic ho gaya, to yellow ho jayega. So ye kya indicate karta hai? Aapka jo cell hai wo grow karega neutral pH, in fact slightly alkaline, humare body ka jo 7.4, right? So but as the cell start utilizing the glucose, it is going to produce acid. Okay? So as it is metabolizing the nutrients in the media, it is going to start producing acid. So as is, is a, Jesse media yellow, you know that the culture media needs to be changed. It's becoming very acidic. And if you continue to leave your cell cultures in an acidic media, then it is likely to die. So it is an indicator, a very good indicator for you to know that your culture needs what we will look at subculture or it needs fresh media. Now there is a buffer, this carbonate or Hepis buffer. This is also very important for the simple reason that the culture when it starts to grow will cause change in the pH. So jitni der the ho sake, agar usme koi buffer hai, so that will try to maintain the pH so that until you are aware and you can do the job, there is a buffer in the media which will not let the media become too acidic in itself. Another reason we also have these carbonate buffers is why we use the CO2 incubator. So microbiological incubator is different. Microbiological culture may be incubator use. But in cell culture, the incubator is used as CO2 incubator. Because the incubator is attached to a CO2 cylinder. And this CO2 amount of CO2 coming from the CO2 cylinder can be regulated. So it is normally kept at 5%. CO2 incubator में एक और चीज maintain होती है वो है relative humidity. So cell culture अगर आप बहुत देर तक 37 की अगर आप human या vertebrate देखेंगे तो 37 degree centigrade पे रखना पड़ेगा. Now 37 is actually हम लोग ही you know we perspire so much. So 37 degree centigrade is good enough to cause the media to start evaporating. So you maintain the uh, water content or the relative humidity in the incubator by keeping some sterile water inside so that this phenomena does not happen. Okay? So, these two typical features are these basic features. In this case, in the CO2 incubators, there are other features introduced. Logo ne kiye hai. But these are two definitely features that are part of a CO2 incubator. Okay? Now, before we go to this, uh, let me talk about another thing. Okay, so let, let, we can start here. So I'll come, I'll keep coming back to this. Right now I just want you to see. So we'll move to how you do cell culture. Okay. So now 
have spoken about the culture media. I have spoken about what instrumentation you need. So let's come to the technique of how we are going to use this. So if you take any tissue fragment and you transfer it to any culture media, then it is known as a primary culture. Okay? If it is primary culture, then we cultivate it or massage it or culture it. कि हमने primary tissue culture लिया, plus या petri dish में डाला, अब इसके technique depth में हम जाएंगे, but लिया, उसको डाला, तो जैसे ही उसको media मिलेगा, कुछ दिन के लिए वो grow करेगा, but ये जो primary culture होता है, eventually it will start to die, right? Or because it is using up the media, it is going to die. So what do we do? We take this, there are two ways of doing. एक तो हमने media हटा दिया और fresh डाल दिया. दूसरा हम ये कर सकते हैं इसका एक छोटा सा जामन लिया जैसे हम दही जमाते हैं इसमें से एक छोटा सा पार्ट लिया फ्रेश प्लेट में डाला फ्रेश मीडिया उसमें डाला ताकि वो फिर से ग्रो करे नाउ इफ आई वॉज टू कंटिन्यूसली डूइंग दिस दिस इज नोन एज सब कल्चरिंग और पसाचिंग ओके सो एवरी टाइम आई एम टेकिंग इट पुटिंग इट इन टू फ्रेश मीडिया अलाउविंग इट टू ग्रो एन आई टेक इट आउट अगेन पुट इट इन टू फ्रेश मीडिया अलाउविंग इट टू ग्रो सो ऑन एंड सो this is known as subculturing or passage. Okay. So I do it for sufficient number of times. So if you look at this graph, so here it is talking about the type of cell on the y-axis and here it is talking about the passage of cell or subculture. So when I first put it into the culture media, so you see there is a dip. Right? So why do you think there is this dip? अगर हम नंबर या कुछ भी के पॉइंट ऑफ़ व्यू से देखें तो आई स्टार्टेड विथ फॉर एग्जांपल ट्रेन टू द पावर सिक्स है जहाँ एक वेट ले लो या कुछ भी ले लो तो अगर आपने इसको एक्सपेरिमेंट में मेजर किया कि क्या हो रहा है इसका वेट या नंबर तो पहले तो वो डिप होगा क्यों क्यों क्या हो रहा है क्य सोचो उसको खाना पीना दे दिया तुरंत ग्राफ हमको ऐसा बनाना चाहिए था तो ये क्यों दिखाया है ग्राफ में इसका इंटरप्रिटेशन आप कैसे करेंगे इफ यू हैव दिस डेटा फॉर एग्जांपल यू डू एन एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड यू सी दिस वी से कह रहे मेरा एक्सपेरिमेंट खराब मतलब गलत हो गया और यू ट्राई टू इंटरप्रेट वॉट इट मीन्स प्रसाइसलीट इज समेल डेथ द नंबर इज डिपिंग इफ इट वॉज जस्ट एक्लोमेटाइजेशन यू वुड है फ्लैट लाइन the dip is telling you that many cells are dying because they are not acclimatized, right? And then some of them, they are then starting to grow. So if you have cell cycle, padhai, for example, many of them may be going into the G0 phase for a while. Many of them are dying. So they go into a resting phase because they are in shock. Now those genes have to turn on, induce, which can utilize this growth media compared to what they were used to before. So now if you want to continuously do this passaging of cells, it is seen that in primary culture, and I think I'll go to the next slide, and when Jaldi se bata ke we look at the detail, many cells will die. Some of them pick up. These cells are known as secondary culture. Of these cells also, you will find, this is in straight line, we have there, there are some cells which don't seem to die. So they are the immortal cells, or what we can also call as a continuous cells. Okay. So typically, see, I mean, three cells ki baat karte. Primary cell, secondary cell, continuous cell. So when we primary cell ki baat karte, primary cells are directly isolated from any tissue. Okay. So you directly take it out, and these are some of the steps you would do to make it a single cell, even if it is a primary cell culture. हम सेल कल्चर में आ रहे हैं हम टिश्यू और ऑर्गन एक्सप्लांट छोड़ दिया हमने तो अगर हमें सेल कल्चर करना है तो हमें टिश्यू को सिंगल सेल में लाना पड़ेगा उसके कुछ एक्सपेरिमेंटल स्टेप्स हैं तो पहला हम एक्चुअली क्या करेंगे अगर मैंने कोई भी टिश्यू लिया मैं बैटरी टिश में डालूंगी ये सब स्टेराइल कंडीशन में होगा मैं लिटरली स्कैल्पल लेके उसको मिन्स करूँगी चॉक करूँगी एज मच एज आई कैन मैकेनिकली डू ओके आफ्टर दैट टिपिकली बिकॉज दो चंक्स आर स्टिल हेल्प टू ईच अदर विथ सम uh adhesions collagen you know hyaluron hyaluron or something like that so then i have to digest it with collagenase 
एजेस ऑफ दैट थिंग गोल नहीं है रेक्टेंगुलर है तो आप उसके हर एज को मूव कर सकते हैं जब आपने सेल्स को हटा दिया है अगर उसको खड़ा करेंगे आप तो पिपेट से उसको सक कर सकते हैं कोई वेस्टेज नहीं होता कुछ रहे ऐसा नहीं होता कि आप हर बार यूज करो तो कुछ वेस्ट हो गया इस डिजाइन में एक और इसका एडवांटेज ये है कि आप कई इन टिश्यू कल्चर फ्लास्क को सीओ टू इंटू इंक्यूबेटर में एक के ऊपर एक स्टैक कर सकते हैं सो दे डोंट टेक अप सो मच स्पेस कि अगर आप ट्यूब 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 में कर रहे होते या और किसी चीज में कर रहे होते यू कैन जस्ट पैक इट अप यू कैन एक्चुअली टेक इट अप एंड लाइक एट ओल यू द थर्ड एडवांटेज यू कैन एक्चुअली टेक द फ्लास्क पुट इट अंडर इन्वर्टेड माइक्रोस्कोप एंड सी द सेल्स सी वेदर दे ग्रोइंग और नॉट एंड देन पुट दम बैक इट टू दूबेटर You can do a treatment over a drug. Do anything you want. Keep looking at it at different time points. So, if we look at time point experiments, see time interval experiments. You want to do, and you want to do videography, or you want to take microscopic images. So, the the type of microscope that you are using, you can use it to take pictures, zero time, whatever you want, know, 12 hour, 24 hour, things like that, without disturbing the cells. Without messing with them in real time. Okay. Great. So, ah, so when you have first done this, first time, you have taken it, you have put it, you have put it in the incubator, you grow it. When you put it, you will try to put it in the whole class, so that it will not grow. Because your purpose is to cells grow, right? So, you will put a little bit, a little cells, and then you will see how it grows slowly, slowly. पूरे सरफेस को कवर कर रहा है एक बार उसने सरफेस को कवर कर लिया जो कि आप माइक्रोस्कोपी से ऑब्जर्व कर सकते हैं चेंज इन कल्चर मीडिया से ऑब्जर्व कर सकते हैं देन यू मे वॉन्ट टू डू अ सब कल्चर सो सब कल्चर इन वॉट वी डू यू कैन अगेन एड यू रिमूव द मीडिया क्लास के लिए रिमूव द मीडिया एंड यू कैन एड टू दिस क्लास अ फाइन लेयर ऑफ ट्रिप्स इन ईडीटी अगेन अ सोल्यूशन इन विच देर इज ट्रिप्स इन इंक्यूबेटेड फॉर ट्रिप्स इन ईडीटी वो जो सेल्स होते हैं जो अडियम सेल्स वो निकल आते हैं अपने फिर सेल्स स्क्रेपर्स होते हैं अगेन डिस्पोजेबल अगर आपको अभी भी शक है आपका ट्रिप्स इन ईडीटी को कॉन्सेंट्रेशन सही नहीं है तो आप सेल्स स्क्रेपर से फिर से उसको सेल्स को रिमूव कर सकते हैं नाउ इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू वॉश ऑफ द ट्रिप्स इन ईडीटी बिकॉज बहुत देर तक ट्रिप्स इन ईडीटी रहेगा बट यू डैमेज द सेल्स तो बहुत कम टाइम के लिए ट्रिप्स इन ईडीटी से ट्रीट करना पड़ता है सो यू अगेन टेक आई दर फॉस्फेट बफर्ड से लाइन विच इज टेरलाइज to make sterile solution there is another equipment which I have not shown but I will share with you so there are uh, millipore sterile uh, assemblies which are liquid for sterilization ke liye use karte. so filters are basically and this is also an equipment which you should have in the lab mein so this millipore or any uh, other companies you can buy they are vacuum pump ke so you have to sterilize solution sterilize karna hai. तो आपने खरीदा है लेकिन आपको डाउट है पुराना हो गया है दो दिन दिन हो गए पोर इट इन टू दैट चेंबर सो इट्स लाइक इट्स गॉट अ टॉप इन विच यू पोर चेंबर देर इज अ फिल्टर एंड देर इज अ बॉटम फ्लास्क और एनीथिंग विच इज कनेक्टेड टू अ वैक्यूम टू टर्न ऑन द वैक्यूम पंप बिकॉज ऑफ द वैक्यूम द सोल्यूशन विल गेट स्टेरलाइज वेरी क्विक अनदर थिंग यू कैन यूज आर सिंज फिल्टर्स सो अगर आपको बहुत कम वॉल्यूम एड करना है मे बी आपको एंटीबायोटिक सोल्यूशन एड करना है और यू आर डाउटफुल कि ये मैंने बहुत पहले बना के रखा है या कोई विटामिन सोल्यूशन है यू आर डाउटफुल सो आप सिरिंज ले लीजिए 10 एम की 15 एम की 5 एम की जैसा भी आपका वॉल्यूम उस पर फिट होने वाले सिरिंज फिल्टर्स आते हैं आप सिरिंज फिल्टर्स लगाइए स्टेराइल ट्यूब लीजिए एंड यू पुस्ट द प्लंच फिल्टर में से जब जाएगा दूसरे एंड पर आएगा तो स्टेराइल ट्यूब तो ये सब चीज़ें बहुत ध्यान में रखिए क्योंकि अगर आपके सेल का जबकि मीडिया में किसी तरह से You know, because of some laparvani, or because you felt too tired that day, which is not happening. But actually, the whole whole experiment will be gone. So, this cell culture, we have to be very careful with children. Sir, absolutely, we cannot do that. Yes. So, now it is your turn. Now, like I told you, you wash the cells. Now, you don't put all the cells into the next class. You only put a few of these cells. So, you wash the cells. You centrifuge the cells. दो तीन बार आप प्रेसिंग ट्रिप्स इन ईडीटी उसमें से हटाएंगे उसमें से थोड़ा सा सेल न्यू फ्रेश क्लास में डालेंगे मीडिया के साथ और उसको फिर इंक्यूबेट करेंगे हर बार आपको ये करना पड़ता है हर दो तीन दिन बाद हर चार दिन बाद जैसा भी सेल खर्चा 
इसलिए अगर आप सेल कल्चर के साथ काम मुझे आपको डराना नहीं है बट एक बड़ी हमेशा रखिए बिकॉज यू नीड बड़ी मीन्स अदर शुड भी समी एल्स हुज वर्किंग विद द सेल कल्चर तो अगर आप नहीं आ पा रहे हो या कुछ दिस ऑलवेज शुड भी समी एल्स हु कैन टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल कल्चर इफ यू आर नॉट बिकॉज यू कैन सडनली गो ऑफ ऑन अ हॉलीडे और गेट सिक एंड देन यू नो यू नीड सम बडी टू टेक केयर ऑफ योर कल्चर बिकॉज इफ दे डाई देन मे बी योर एंटायर वॉट एवर एक्सपेरिमेंट यू बीन प्लानिंग विल गेट वेस्ट So I told you, these cells, however many times you massage them, they will eventually die. The cells will die are known as primary cell culture. जब तक वो मरने हैं वो वाले cell culture, primary cell culture. So they are mortal. I told you they show contact inhibition. They are anchorage dependent. So they are adherent cell. Anchorage means जो मैं base बता रही थी, such cells जिनको कुछ चाहिए होता है. अगर आप नहीं दोगे तो ये नहीं लोग करेंगे. एंकरेज डिपेंडेंट से या अगर आपने बॉटल में भी उनको डाल दिया ना बड़ी बॉटल में डाल दिया क्लास में नहीं डाल ये नीचे जाके ग्रो करेंगे बट इतना अच्छा ग्रो नहीं करेंगे क्योंकि उनको ऑक्सीजन नहीं मिलेगा एक और रीजन आपका कल्चर प्लास इज गुड बिकॉज देर इज अलॉट ऑफ डिजॉल्व ऑक्सीजन दैट कम्स बिकॉज यू ओनली नीड टू पुट अ वेरी फाइन थिन लेयर ऑफ मीडिया ऑन टॉप ऑफ द सर्विस आपको ऊपर तक भरना नहीं है उन्हें हवा जानी चाहिए और वो डिजॉल्व ऑक्सीजन चाहिए उसको कुछ एग्जाम्पल्स प्राइमरी सेल कल्चर के हैं ह्यूमन एम्ब्रियोनिक किडनी प्राइमरी सेल कल्चर ठीक है एम्ब्रियो सेल कल्चर ना देर आर ऑल्सो सेल्स विच आर नोन एज सस्पेंशन सेल्स वी आर एम टॉकिंग अबाउट एंकरेज डिपेंडेंट एंड एंकरेज इंडिपेंडेंट सेल्स सो वॉट एवर आई टोल्ड यू सर्फिस इज रिक्वायर्ड इनर्ट सर्फिस इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर ग्रोथ दो टाइप ऑफ सेल्स आर नोन एज एंकरेज डिपेंडेंट और अडियरिट सेल्स तो ये सब उसमें इशूज ऑफ कॉज हैं जो भी सर्फिस सब इज यूज करें भी सॉलिड एंड नॉन टॉक्सिक वी हॉट टू मेक श्योर की द सर्फिस इज नॉन टॉक्सिक टू द सेल चेक टू बी प्लास्टिक वॉट एवर प्लास्टिक यू यूज सो पॉलिस्टाइन इज वेरी पॉपुलर इन यूज ऑन दी अदर हैंड देर आर सम सेल्स विच आर इवन इन आर बॉडी बिहेवियर सेल सस्पेंस दे डोंट नीड अ सर्फिस फ्लोटिंग अराउंड लाइक आर ब्लड सेल्स वी डोंट हैव ब्लड सेल्स स्टिकिंग समवेयर एंड लेस देर इज अ रीजन So these can be grown on liquid media. The ability to of the cells depends because they are in our body as suspension cells. And so blood cells that are vascular are typically used as suspension cells. So suspension cells are typically grown in roller bottles. You can grow them in roller bottles. So there are different incubators that are designed for suspension cells. Okay, so you can just. Keep the suspension cells. Then having racks. Now, if you keep growing the primary cells, do you go to the next stage? So, these cells are known as diploid cell lines. So, what happens when you start the primary cell line? Start the cell culture. So, you try to grow one cell. 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 तो धीरे धीरे वो सेल लाइन में बदलने लगते हैं तो आपने एक दो उठाए उसको ग्रो किया उसमें से कुछ उठाए ग्रो किया तो जैसे आप डायल्यू सोचो डायल्यूशन ही कर रहे हो जो ओरिजिनल था उसमें से सो नाउ यू गोइंग टूवर्ड सेल लाइन एनीवे। इसकी कुछ प्रॉपर्टीज ये हैं डिप्लॉइड सेल लाइन कंटेन द सेम नंबर ऑफ क्रोमोसोम एज अ पेरेंट ओके बट दे कैन बी सब कल्चर फॉर अ लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सो देर इज सम जेनेटिक चेंज इन दीज कंपेयर टू द प्राइमरी सेल कल्चर द फैक्ट दैट दे हैव अडेप्टेड टू द कल्चर मीडिया नाउ दिस टाइप ऑफ सेल्स आर वेरी यूजफुल बिकॉज दे आर टिपिकली यूज फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ वैक्सीन फॉर अदर प्रोटीन्स दैट यू मे वॉन्ट एंड द रीजन फॉर दिस इज वेरी सिंपल प्राइमरी सेल कल्चर का क्या है वो खत्म हो जाएगा पांच दस कल्चरिंग के बाद तो अगर आप प्राइमरी सेल कल्चर के साथ काम कर रहे हो हर बार आपको जाके शुरुआत करनी पड़ेगी चूहे के साथ या जह, जहां से भी आपने प्राइमरी सेल कल्चर किया या फिर ह्यूमन सोर्स है ना एवरी टाइम द सोर्स इज डिफरेंट सो देर विल बी सम वेरिएशन इन योर सेल कल्चर सो जो एक्सपेरिमेंट आपने पहले सेल कल्चर के साथ प्राइमरी सेल कल्चर के साथ किया जरूरी नहीं है कि वही रिजल्ट्स आपको फिर से जब आप शुरू करेंगे तो करें तो जब हमको रिसर्च करना है सो अगेन कमिंग टू स्टेटिस्टिक्स यू वॉन्ट टू डू रिसर्च यू वॉन्ट टू कीप ओनली द थिंग यू आर ट्राइंग टू टेस्ट एज अ वेरिएबल यू आर टेस्टिंग अ ड्रग Only that should be variable. Everything else should be fixed. 
तभी आपको पता चलेगा कि आपका ड्रग का इफेक्ट आप देख रहे हैं और और किसी चीज का इफेक्ट नहीं कल अगर, कल अगर इस स्लॉट पे आपका ड्रग काम किया और उस प्राइमरी कल्चर पे नहीं काम किया आपको ये नहीं पता कि आपके ड्रग में काम कर रहा था या सेल कल्चर में कोई इशू था सो so, अगर आपके पास एक कॉन्टिन्यूस कंसिस्टेंट सेल लाइन है आप तीन बार एक्सपेरिमेंट लगाइए और दिखाइए कि तीनों बार वो काम कर और फिर आप स्टेटिस्टिकल टेस्ट लगाइए और प्रूव करिए दिस इज बायोलॉजिकली सिग्निफिकेंट यू एक्चुअली गेट फलाना रिजल्ट वेन यू आर टेस्टिंग दिस ड्रग ऑन दिस सेल एंड दैट इज वाई द नीड फॉर सेल लाइन So now you continue doing this. Continue, you know, moving them around. Then you can get this type of continuous cell lines. But this may be there is a very fine difference between diploid and second. This is also known as finite. So these three names are known. These cells, be, after finite time, they will die. Even these cells. But see, that they are in one or two division. They are dying in five division. Hopefully, your PhD will be done. या आपने जो एक्सपेरिमेंट आपको लगाना था वो हो जाएगा ठीक है लेकिन ये देखा जाता है कि इनमें से कुछ सेल्स मल्टीपल बसाजेस के बाद मरते ही नहीं सच सेल लाइन जन होना है इमोटिव सेल नाउ देर टू वेज ऑफ एक्चुअली गेटिंग इट स्लाइड में लिखा है मैंने दिस प्रोसेस बाय विच अ फाइनाइट सेल बिकम्स इन फाइनाइट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज सेल्युलर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन बिकॉज हाउ यू गेट अ सेल यू डजेंट डाई Normal. Okay. So this is cellular transformation. You can also call these cells as cancerous cells because that is what cancer cell means: cells which don't die. Okay. Now this can happen in two ways. It could happen spontaneously. Some mutation has happened because you are passing it over the time. There is some mutation that has happened spontaneously, and this is. If you have done something and passing it, then people get it. But when people get the benefit of the continuous cell life. They decided instead of it happening spontaneously, why not I choose? Why not I choose the mutation? Why not I choose a mutation which is making it transform to the way I want it to be transformed? Right. So initially, when people did it, they either did it through various carcinogenic chemicals or mutagenic chemicals, or they used oncoviruses. So oncoviruses are viruses which cause cancer. Right. So polyoma virus. All these types of viruses were initially used, or species select किए गए जो cells transform. Today we can even be very targeted in designing cell lines because we have the thing of targeted mutagenesis. If you have site targeted mutagenesis, you can actually choose how you want to immortalize your cell line. What are the properties? Now because they are transformed cells, they show very different properties compared to primary. First differences are important. Now compared to primary culture, अगर primary culture का generation time x है, this is going to be x by five or something like that. Okay, so they grow very rapidly. Cancer cells they grow very rapidly. There is no contact inhibition, which means जो मैंने आपको फंडा बताया था कि एक cell दूसरे बगल में इतना intelligent है वो कि एक ऊपर नहीं चढ़ेगा. अगर दीवार आगे class की, तो ऐसा नहीं कि ऐसे चढ़ रहा है. वो ही stop कर देता है. Okay? So this inherent, this intelligence is inherent in the primary cells, the normal cells of our body. They will not start growing anywhere inside the blood vessel. Or like But cancer cells have lost that sense of contact inhibition. Okay. Typically, such cells are homogeneous. एक जैसे होते हैं, जो grow कर रहे हैं क्योंकि जो grow कर रहा है अभी rapidly grow कर रहा है बाकी तो उसको nutrition नहीं मिलेगा तो slowly survival of the fittest ऐसे cells eventually मर जाएंगे. जो fast grow कर रहा है वही eventually It can be suspension or movement. Two no तरह के transformed cell lines हो सकते हैं. Typically, but these cells will show some chromosomal abnormality. So the chromosome numbers may be off, or there may be some genome genomic rearrangement. Something will be there. Okay. And many of such cells are popularly used in research. So HeLa cell line is an example of one of the first cell lines. The cell line came from Henrietta Lacks. This was the name of the patient who was suffering from, I think, uh, carcinoma, some carcinoma. She was suffering. So the pathologist took the carcinoma biopsy cell and tried to grow it in vitro, and this cell line was developed. So, ये भी आपके जरूरी नहीं कि आप primary से secondary से continuous ही जाएं. एक और तरीका continuous cell line का ये है कि cancerous tissue को ही आप isolate करें 
और उसमें से सेल लाइन जनरेट तीन तरीके हैं आपके पास एक प्राइमरी से सेकेंडरी से स्पॉन्टेनियसली जाने दीजिए प्राइमरी से सेकेंडरी से आप इंड्यूस करिए और तीसरा है आप डायरेक्टली किसी कैंसर पेशेंट से टिश्यू को उठा के सेल लाइन में कन्वर्ट करिए सो दिस इज जस्ट डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्राइमरी एंड इमोटलाइज आइसोलेटेड फ्रॉम डोनर इट कुड बी फ्रॉम द ट्यूमर स्पॉन्टेनियस और इंड्यूस्ड ओके लाइफ स्पैन इज लिमिटेड लाइफ स्पैन इज अनलिमिटेड यू कैन हैव इन वीवो मॉडल ऑफ दिस टिपिकली देर आर नो इन वीवो मॉडल्स ऑफ इमोटल सेल लाइन्स एंड दैट इज वेट एनिमल टिश्यू कल्चर और सेल कल्चर बिकम सो इम्पोर्टेंट नाउ वे टू यूज वाई वू यू वॉन्ट टू यूज प्राइमरी सेल्स हर एक एडवांटेज एंड डिसएडवांटेज प्राइमरी सेल लाइन हम कब यूज करना चाहो और कंटिन्यूस कब यूज करना चाहो तो ऐसा कुछ नहीं है कि ये बेटर है कि यू नो दिस इज नॉट गुड वी हैव टू सी वॉट इज द डिजाइन ऑफ आवर एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड देन चूज So obviously, if you are interested in trying to mimic something that is happening in the body, then you will go for primary cells. If you are doing an experiment, like I told you, where you know you really don't care about the origin of the cell, but you want to show effect of a drug, or you want to test you know effect of um, ch some change in something, or virus infection, or anything, or maybe you want to study the cancer itself, right? Then obviously you are going to choose the cancer cell. Line. Maybe you want to check the effect of a drug on a cancer cell line. Then obviously you're going to choose a cancer cell line. So it is going to depend on your design of study. The second thing is many of these cell lines, our applications may come. So we quickly cover them. Many of them are used to make products. So animal biotechnology, animal cell biotechnology is using cells to create products. Could be for making vaccines. Okay, or any metabolite that the cell is engineered to make. Now, can you give me an engineered cell lines also? Now, would you like your product to be made in a normal cell, or would you like it to be made in a cancer cell? So, if viral vaccine made are you? Would you like the viral vaccine to be created from a cancer cell? Maybe not, right? So that is why. Okay, let me go back here. Typically, some 
that will be interesting to know through what are they using you know what even if it is immortal what are the properties of those cell lines that they are okay by regulatory bodies for production of viral vaccine so many animal cultures particularly cho cells hamster kidney cell line cho cell line these are typically used as uh, for production of different type of proteins so or the cap products are supplying they typically recombinant therapeutic proteins hain jaise ki human cytokines hain okay kai uh, hormones hain growth factors hain all these uh, some enzymes so jaise bacterial system hai which is used but many many proteins cannot be made in the bacterial system uh, many times because of eukaryotic uh, processes like post transcription modifications and translations don't work very well in a prokaryotic system so for expression studies you want to grow them in eukaryotic system taki jo bhi protein bane it should have the same modifications that is present in a eukaryotic system hai na so us case mein aap uh, jo bhi gene hai usko aap electroporation ki madad se ya gene gun ki madad se ya liposome mediated delivery system se you can insert so this is basically we are talking about inserting a recombinant gene or insert into the animals cell line so that now it is a, under a very strong promoter so that that when that cell grows it makes that product and that product is typically a secretory product jab cell grow kar raha hai to wo protein banayega aur can cell culture media mein secrete kare to fir aap cell culture media ko nikal ke uske jo bhi purification processes karne ki zarurat hai wo karke aap apna product ko banaye um many cell cultures have been used of course in gene therapy for in advances in gene therapy like i told you even described to you how expression proteins will be made in animals many different types of any testing of any gene therapy has to come through first in vitro pehle to cell culture mein hoga fir uske baad in vivo animal model mein hoga uske baad jaake kahi wo trial mein use kiya jaye कई बार एनिमल का स्टेप आजकल आप लोग बेटर जानते हैं कि एथिकल क्लियरेंस और इसके कारण ड्रॉप करके सीधे ह्यूमन सेल कल्चर्स कैन बी टेस्टेड इट इफ इट हैज शोन इन अ सेफ्टी अंडर इन मीट्रो कंडीशन डायरेक्टली ऑन अ वेरी स्मॉल ग्रुप ऑफ इंडिविजुअल्स अंडर फेज वन ग्रुप सेल्स ऑफ फोर्टी जीन्स कैन बी रिप्लेस बाई फंक्शनल जीन्स ऑल दी स्टडीज है एनिमल सेल बिफोर and experimentally proven to actually work now agar as as animal cells agar aapko samajhna hai ki koi neuronal cells kaise kaam karte hain ya stem cells kaise bane ya agar aapko stem cells se nerve cell banana hai okay so stem, in stem cell therapy you know so much uh, if if one was to find out about animal cell culture and history of how cell culture media have been developed i think the stem cells are the best place to be so you know what stem cells are what are stem cells you can convert them into any type of cell they have that potency pluripotent they have pluripotent totipotent now like in you know this happens in the body all right so how can you make any cell become any cell in vitro suppose i take a stem cell i can convert i want to convert it into a nerve cell how do i do that what will i have to do if i want to convert that cell into a blood cell what will i need to do aap sab aaye samajh rahe hain या अगर आपने कहीं डेवलपमेंटल बायोलॉजी अगर पढ़ी हो तो एक एम्बेरियो किसी भी टिश्यू जो भी ऑर्गन जेनेसिस होता है पोटेंशियल है उसमें लेकिन उसको क्या देने की जरूरत है कि वो नर्व सेल बन जाए या स्केलेटो सेल बन जाए या कुछ भी सेल बन जाए करेक्ट मतलब क्या सो इट्स बेसिकली दैट कि अगर आपको नर्व सेल में कन्वर्ट करना है तो नर्व ग्रोथ फैक्टर देना पड़ेगा कौन सा वाला कितने कॉन्सेंट्रेशन तो 
अगर आप स्टेम सेल सिर्फ की स्टडी पेपर्स देखेंगे तो कई सेमिनल डिस्कवरीज इसी बात पे नेचर साइंस में पब्लिश हुए हैं कि दे फिगर आउट कि क्या कल्चर मीडिया होना चाहिए कि स्टेम सेल इज कन्वर्टेड इनटू टू नर्व सेल बिकॉज दैट्स अ मेजर डिस्कवरी ना ओनली वेन यू कैन कन्वर्ट एनी सेल इन टू नर्व सेल इन द लैब कैन यू देन थिंक अबाउट डूइंग अ ट्रांसप्लांटेशन और समथिंग लाइक दैट इज इट सो कैन वी मेक द सेल्स इन द लैब How do we make the cell? What kind of cell culture we get? So you are actually studying the uh, the physiology of the cell, the biochemistry of the cell. So for that you need to do or advance animal cell culture technology. So this is a model system for studies related to cell biology, host pathogen relationships. If you have to study viral infection, study karna hai, you need to have a lab where you can grow the cells and put the infection and then test ki way ya kya ho kya hai. ठीक है क्या क्या effects ho rahe hain isse. effects of drugs effects of changes in cell composition genetic changes cancer changes okay. now cancer research itself is a big area for cell culture and i will not read this but you know how cancer cells are formed what are the mutagenic agents there can be so many experiments scientific experiments which can be done in the in the in vitro cells only you don't need to go to animals and of course uh, with respect to your field You know, anti-cancer drugs and therapy itself is a huge area that one can explore. In fact, I believe most, a lot of research in India, cancer research works with looking at different uh, drugs, either chemical, combinatorial libraries, or herbal extracts being tested on cancer cell lines to see if it is reversing or not. <coughs> Next, uh, this is also very interesting that you can also use it among the other recombinant proteins. You can use insect. Uh, so animal culture doesn't have to be only human. Okay, you can have insect cell culture also. Uh, so there are other cell lines you can use, like SF21, SF9. All these are used for production of biopesticides. You can use um, use this for making baculovirus biopesticides. Okay, so the virus itself is acting as a biopesticide. This okay, is an insect virus, so you can do uh, insect cell culture. Also. So just to show you, so this is what typically this is a vero cell line, this is a monkey kidney cell line. So normally, जो मैं आपको कह रही थी, I don't know if it's clear, but ये सब artifact नहीं, गोल गोल पे मत जाइए. ये जो आपको नीचे यहाँ cell दिख रहे हैं, ये सब cells हैं, normal cells हैं. So you can actually see, you know, uneven cells with the nucleus in the middle. Can you see the nucleus? I don't know if it's clear to you. When these cells have been infected by the virus, they are rounding off. You can't see them anymore. They are pulling off. Now I'll see if I can find some other. So this is the normal human epithelial cell line. Like that is adenovirus. So all whole whole cells are like the morphology change will happen. Virus infection is happening. So this is an example of uh, virus infection, vaccinia infection. So it's a little bit clearer. Eh? So these are all cells. This is a confocal image. So this is the nucleus. You see, and this cytoplasm, and this is virus-infected cells. So all cells fuse over and they form some kind of synthesia. So this is just my slides on uh, virus infection. But since it had some pictures, I thought I could show you. Uh, 